And it was March the 12th, 1975, 2 o'clock in the morning in my cell in Mill Haven, where I saw the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. He walked into my cell, he appeared to me, he touched my shoulder, and he said the words, you can now start all over again, and he went like this. Your sins are all forgiven. I threw my hands up, confessed all my sins. I said, I'm sick and tired of this prison cell. I'm sick and tired of this cockroach life I've been living. I believe Jesus Christ, you are the Son of God. I accept you right now as my Lord and Savior. Save me, save me, and one day let me walk over this prison cell and give my life and serve my life for you. And guess what? Mm -hmm. He saved me. 25 years of filthy mind, dirty habits, lying, smoking, drinking, robbery. You see, God hates sin, David, but he, he loves a sinner. That's what the Bible says. And I walked over that maximum security cell the next morning among all my friends. Some of these guys are dangerous men. These are, these are, these are murderers and killers. These are, these are tough guys. Now, now, I love those men, but I hate their crime. But I walked out, shout, note, hallelujah, praise God, I'm saved. And they all laughed at me. They thought another one's gone. They were saying, uh, bye bye, Ernie. Gone. There he goes. He's gone to the cracker farm, the funny farm. I don't care. But here's the greatest miracle, too, David. The pro board said to me, You can't go home. You're a dangerous man. You've been locked up 25 years. You shoot policemen. You rob banks. You escaped from prison five times. You broke your parole twice before. They said to me, No parole for you. You're incorrigible. Parole denied. Hmm. But guess what? I have an advocate lawyer up there, David, and right. he hasn't lost a case yet. You want to hear a miracle, Jeez. a real documented, capital R-E-A-L, proven miracle? Hear this. April the 14th, 1976, I walked out of the federal penitentiary years before my time was even served. I walked out a free man, not a parole, not a pardon, free, and the government of Canada Ottawa to this day still can't tell me who's responsible for my release. They don't know. The people in charge of all the jails can't tell me who let me out. That's a miracle. And guess who met me at the front door? Grant Bailey. Mr. <laughs> Bailey. And the whole family hugged me and touched me for the first time and loved me and took me home, gave me the first bedroom I ever had. My first bedroom. Took me down to a store. And Ernie said, this is my sporting goods store. You take any job you want. I said, oh, God, help me. Not a sporting goods store. And guess rifles what job I took? I mean, full of rifles and shotguns and pistols and bullets. And guess what job I took? Cashier. What? The police couldn't believe it. Ernie Hollins, the incorrigible criminal, out of jail. No one even knows how they get out. Now he's the cashier in a sporting goods store. He's waving a Bible around, praising God, shouting how they are talking funny sometimes, too. Well, he's gone weird. They couldn't believe it. And Ottawa sent a reporter, and the reporter said to me in the store, we don't believe this. Well, I said, sir, I'm up there, Ernie Hollins, you knew. I'm a new Ernie. I'm the born-again, spirit-filled, baptized, Holy Ghost, tongue-talking man of God, Ernie Hollins, I said. I'm not going to hell to burn in a lake of fire. I'm going to heaven. In fact, I may go in five minutes. How about you? Where are you going? Do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? Why, it's so simple. Look at me, 25 years in prison, 45 years in sin, but God loved me. I don't care what you've done or where you've been or where you are right now. He's knocking right now in your heart saying to you, I love you, and I want to help you too. So can we pray, David? Yes, by all means. Give me your hand. Right yeah. now, close your eyes. You want to close your eyes? We're going to pray. As I say these words, say them out loud with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I confess all of my sins. I confess all of my sins. I hold nothing back. I hold nothing. I back. accept Jesus Christ, God's Son. I accept Jesus Christ, God's Son. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. I give my heart to you, Jesus. I give my heart to you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving for me. For dying for me. For dying for me. For forgiving all my sins. For forgiving all my sins. Now, Lord Jesus, save my family and all my loved ones save too. Save my family and all my loved ones. I too. claim their salvation right now in Jesus' salvation. name. I'm saved. I'm saved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's it. It's not a feeling, but you can feel good. But if you prayed that prayer and you meant that prayer, you're a Christian. Your name is written down in heaven. And because of you right now, angels in heaven sing and rejoice and shout for joy. You are saved. Now, uh, you get into church on Sunday. You get a Bible and read the Bible. And, Ernie, and you pray. 
And Ernie, the other thing they need to do is tell somebody right away. That's right, and right that's away. that's why the phone numbers are on the screen. This is not a telethon. The phone numbers are on the screen. You can call and tell somebody.